But I'm gonna have to say that it's getting a little. It's getting to be concerning, honey. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Maybe I won't get dirty in it. Probably not. <clears throat> What's up, plant nerds? It's Rachel with Heart Shape Leaves uh, and Winston. Say hi, Winston. Anyways, I should have named him Shadow because he doesn't ever leave my side. But anyways, we just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got at Lowe's yesterday because I told you I can't be trusted, and it's true. It's not a lie. Um, also, if I look like I'm moving like Frankenstein, I slept funny on my neck. I tweaked it or jerked it or <laughs> yanked it or jammed it or something. So, I don't know. I look a little weird when I'm moving around, but uh, I also got some soil mix here, and I'm going to be repotting a aloe and a hen and chicks. No, uh, you know, I'm going to be replanting some stuff and putting some stuff in some smaller stuff, some babies, replanting some babies today. So, also, I was going to talk to everybody about what I use when I'm watering my plants and uh, some stuff like that. So just some general chit chat and also some things that I like and some things that I don't like. So that's what we're gonna talk about because I realized that my last get to know me, there wasn't a whole lot that I revealed, so. And I'm also kind of the, you know, a private person, really. So, you know, I'm like everybody else that gets on here and talks about their plants. I think that being a plant mom in a weird way, you're already, sort of an introvert to get to that point and then it's like you want to share your plants so much so badly that you will film yourself talking about your plants that's where we're at so anyway so here's some stuff that we have at Lowe's that, this was Walmart actually separately but it's a really cute <clears throat> but these are dog hair super cute which you know you can see there's like a knot in the middle but super cute little cactus strings and I know it's not a plant but you know they're going to go up over here on my little plant shelf they're real cute so thought you might think those are cute and then I also got this big um, glazed ceramic pot it's really cute and I got it for my banana um, plant, Sabrina, to go into because she's a diva and she needs a nice looking, you know, green pot. So, I'm the hunchback of Notre Dame, by the way. I'm going to try to sit up for the majority of this, but it's pretty gross. Sorry about that. Also, I got seven little baby... <coughs> <coughs> I got seven little baby terracotta pots and saucers to go with it. And here's a friendly tip for one plant person to another. If you think you're going to expand your plant collection and get a shelf, I suggest getting a shelf that has glass and not the wires. Because if you're using like little nursery pots or little ceramic pots or things like that, you're going to be playing uh, the balancing game the whole time with them over here on the grates. And it's just, you know, just get something flat so that you can do as much things as you can just really hoard up as many plants as possible on one shelf. That's what you really want to do. So, seven of those. I also got two, two of these. Um, not the Maiden's Hair Fern. I've had this for a while and I think she's looking gorgeous. I tried to show you guys yesterday the humidity in my plant room is really, really good. 
Um, I've got a fountain over there, and I have a humidifier over here, so between the two of them. And I think the house stays at like 45 to 50 anyways, and then I bump it up a lot more. So I got this self-watering pot from Walmart, okay? And I thought that this little Costa Farms nursery pot would just fit right in it, and you could do the, put the water in it down here. See how it's like a really tall pot? But no, my maiden hair pot was far too small. And you see the wick. And this is the only only plants that I have in my plant room or in my house at all that have the, the wicks are the ferns because I don't want to play around. I ain't trying to play around <laughs> and get the crispy tips and all that because I know <clears throat> that if I don't keep her moist that she's going to be very upset with me. So of course it didn't fit, but I made this like, I cut like a little styrofoam cup and put like a little hole in the top, fed the wick through, there's water in there, and then I just kind of, you know, made it work. I made it work for me, you know? I made it work. Winston, are you quitting on me? Of course it's not going to go back in there, but anyways, you get you get it. I'll make it go back in right in just a little bit. And then I got just this regular medium-sized plant stand, but <laughs> I love it, and I just like it because of the scrolly pattern or whatever, but I can't ever decide when I buy these. I'm like, I like the black, but then I think I want to spray paint everything gold. And let me tell you about gold. Talk about things that I like. I love gold. And let me tell you something. When I was younger, I was a sterling silver girl all the way, all the way, all the way. Don't give me gold because I wasn't going to wear it. I know that sounds silly, but you know, girls, we have our preferences or whatever. And then it was like something about when I turned like 32, it was like, boom, a switch went off. And I was like, gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, I've been loving it ever since. All my jewelry is gold now and everything, you know. Some of it's real, some of it's not. What you do? But anyways, love gold. So, that's all the things that I picked. Oh, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. Hold up. This owl is going to be pissed at me now because I forgot to mention it. I'm sure at some point my old, old ass knees are going to give out while we're filming this. Hello. But anyways. This little guy also came home with me, and I feel really terrible because I've forgotten. <laughs> but uh, he came home with me, and I've never had like an aloe aloe before, just one of these like fancy varieties. And I also got him a pot to pot him up in today while we're chit chatting and whatnot. And it's really weird to have one way conversations, and I'm sure you know that, but it's very strange. Cough and come out. If y'all have like anxiety or stresses, stress, stress start over. If y'all have anxiety or stresses, if you have anxiety or stress issues, you need to think about getting a French bulldog because. Total emotional support all day long, every day. He never leaves my side. He's completely different than all my other dogs. I have bosses. I raise bosses. And I'm about to be having some French things. But Winston, that's my boy. You know what I mean? That's my dog. Anyways, so now that we've gotten through all the things that I bought when I probably lived with If you've got a good partner, they will overlook these things as long as you be sure and pick up the slack in other areas. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna, if you're supposed to be on a plant no buy, let's say, and you go and you buy, <laughs> perhaps make make their favorite dinner when they get home. Just a thought. They might overlook a couple of plants here and there. Anywho, black lessons with rainbow. I wish I could do the rainbow. The more you know. I had to change positions because 
Wow. Them old knees ain't what they used to be, ladies and gents. For whoever's watching, I may be talking to myself, but that's okay. I do that anyway. Anyways, my, step, my soil mix is a lot like everybody else's soil mix. I use a general all-purpose potting mix, and I add some perlite, and I add some mix. So it's good and well-draining. This is always really intrigued about what's going on. I just, huh. So it's really well-draining. Okay. So first of all, let's pot up the aloe that I got from Lowe's. And while I'm doing that, and I don't think it's any kind of special aloe. I don't think it's any kind of special aloe, but if it's uh, some sort of particular kind of aloe, if you can see it, try to let me know. I love to memorize the names of my plants, just like all the other plant nerds, I'm sure. But it's really cute. Anyhow, some things that I like. I love to listen to podcasts. I don't know how big the podcast community is. I think it's growing and growing and getting bigger all the time. Uh, some of the podcasts that I listen to are Your Mom's House with Christina P. and Tom Seguera. Uh, they're hilarious. Wow. That's a lot. They're really funny. And... Uh, let me think what else do I listen to? I listen to Legion of Skanks. I probably listen to some really offensive stuff. I'm just a really big fan of comedy in general. I love comedy. Um, I love Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan podcast. I love um, Honeydew podcast with Ryan Sickler. I like Ari Shafir's podcast. Like, I really love, I was get a little too high up, you know what, I'm going to get past the mother on the bottom. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and I'm going to make like a real mess while we're at it. Can you see the sun? Yeah, he's right there. Always watching you, Wazowski. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, though. Love podcasts, love comedians. Oh, Bert, Kurt, Bert Kreischer, I love him also. Or Bert Chrysler, or, you know, Bert Chryslers or Crystals, or however you want to say it. Um, I went and saw him in Dallas uh, at the end of last year. And, I mean, I was rolling. He had me cracking up, man. Uh, I, you know, he has me cracking up anyways because he's super erratic. Super ADD, and it's just his one thought falls into another, and I really, you know, same. So I love to listen to his comedy because his lot of his comedy is just real life, you know. He's got uh, two daughters, and I have four kids. I have, you know, two of my own and two step kids, which you know, basically they're all mine. But uh, the step kids are only here like a week on or a week off, but it's a lot, and I really identify. And, you know, Joe Rogan's got kids, too. We're all old. We're all old people with kids, you know. Whoopie do, big surprise. But he's so happy now. Isn't he cute? It's taken me a long time because I, I see aloe vera's and things like that, but I didn't really appreciate any of their structures before. But him, I really liked the way he was put together. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll put him right in the deer. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do this little aloe guy. But anyways, besides uh, podcasts and things that I like, let me think. Television shows. Let's talk about television shows. I love Seinfeld, which, you know, I know everyone watches like Seinfeld. But, uh, using my water meter for purposes not intended. Oh, I thought I told y'all I wasn't going to see him. My bad. Um, <clears throat> love Seinfeld. So uh, me and my husband make Seinfeld references all day long. I'm sure it, gets, <laughs> it would get super old uh, to other people, but it doesn't to us, and we love it. And uh, I got some babies in here, but to be honest with you guys, like I'm scared. It's really 
separate it. Maybe I should have Okay, I don't want to do it. They don't feel like they have enough roots on their own yet anyways. Maybe they do, I don't know. I'm kind of new to this sort of thing. So. When I pulled it, it felt like it was going to hurt it. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big baby. Hey, look at, oh, well, I've, I've been talking about it for days, but I forgot to mention it. This one right here is blooming. I'll get a little side shot of it for you. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. But anyways, other television shows, obviously The Big Bang Theory. I know some people really aren't into like sitcoms and things like that. And that's cool, you know, to each his own. You can like whatever you want to like. But I don't know. I guess me and my husband are such nerds. We, you know, we like to nerd out. Uh, obviously, uh, well, I shouldn't say obviously. You guys don't know. But I love uh, Adult Swim. Uh, I'm a huge Metalocalypse fan, I'm a huge Squidbillies fan, and I hope that you don't look these shows up if you see how atrocious they are and then you hate me for them, but like I said, I just love to laugh, and uh, those shows are funny. If you've never watched Squidbillies or Metalocalypse, maybe don't go watch it. I don't know. I don't know. Watch what you want to watch. <laughs> Uh, me and my husband, I know that you're going to think we're total aliens, but we've never watched Game of Thrones, and we started watching the season one. I know. Calm down. I know. We started season one like a week ago or so, and once you guys are used to the gratuitous sex scenes, we are not. So it was a little, it was awkward a little bit. But, you know, it's not like we're not going to watch it. I'm just saying it was a little awkward. But anyways, so we got this aloe in here. <laughs> with his little, with his little babies, because I don't know, they're still nursing, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, for sure. Anywho, anyways, Winston, Winston abandoned me. Winston got bored. Did you get bored? Did you, oh my gosh, it almost just fell out. Did you get bored?
Because if you're that worried about it, y'all need help. Real talk. Anyway. Some of these look so leggy, I don't think they're going to look good in this container. So I'm not... I'm going to bury the stems up to a certain degree. Do I need to let these... I need to let those probably cows up. Or can I put them straight in the dirt? Hmm. You know, since they've got all these aerial roots already, you guys are probably going to scream at me or something. But it's okay, I'm just over here living my life, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and just stick them straight in the dirt, and if and if that's wrong, then maybe I don't want to be grabbed. You know, we all got to learn our own lessons in life. Obviously, coffee, 100%. French Bulldogs, 220%. Um, unicorns, I'm really big into that. Anything holographic. I mean, basically, just look up everything that's popular right now, and that's all the things that I like. Ridiculous. Anyways, um, plants is weird or different, I think. You know, I consider myself a plant nerd. You're probably a plant nerd, too. That's why you're here. That's why you're watching, you know, that and you're probably very bored uh, and perhaps lying in bed and uh, maybe you just want a soothing voice to listen to. I mean, sometimes when I'm watching videos at night, plant videos and things like that, sometimes I just, you know, sometimes I just like listening. Does that sound sad or lonely? Because it's really not sad or lonely. I really am opposed to people in general, but I do like to hear people talking. Anyways, okay, so how cute does that look? That looks really cute. I like how that turned out. We're going to give the aloe and we're going to give him, and we're going to give the baby aloe a little water when we all get done. And I'm not sure how this is. I'm not going to be able to use them all, but I may go ahead and trim them all. So... Some things that I dislike, or we'll just say like, we'll just say like basic pet peeves. Here are some of my basic pet peeves. People who don't brush their teeth. And it's like, I swear to God, all the people that don't brush their teeth, they want to talk directly to me. They find me and they want to talk to me. It's bad. And I, you know what? I think that's me paying penance because I smoked for years and I probably spoke right in other people's faces. And guess what? Now I'm paying the piper for it. 120% people always find me. Pet peeve number two. And this one haunts me. This one haunts me. No matter where I'm at, let me put down the chart. No matter where I'm at and no matter what I'm doing, someone will find me and they will go, Excuse me, and they want to get around me. And it doesn't matter where I am. I could be in the hallway, squeezed all the way up against the side of the hallway, and someone will be like, "Excuse me, they need to get they need to get through that part of the hallway." Um, I've been standing like as close to the side walls as I've put in a restaurant before, and I've got the excuse me. I get the excuse. I get excuse if I leave the house. I'm gonna get excuse me at least three times, and I wish it was an exaggeration, but it's not. 
It's not. If, and my husband used to think that I was neurotic, which he probably still thinks I'm neurotic. That's another thing. But <laughs> now he's 100% completely converted believer into that excuse me business because we hear it. We hear it all day. It doesn't matter. I'm always in people's way. That's what we've decided. I'm just, I'm really in the way. I'm a big old boulder of a rock of a person, and I'm just in everybody's way. And that's my life, you know? So, you know, uh, here's another pet peeve. Repeating myself. My children make me repeat myself non freaking stop. I, sometimes I feel like I should just, when I have something to say, I should just go ahead and get geared up to say it three times. You should just say it once, and just get that out of the way. Just go ahead and say it twice and get that out of the way. Because you're gonna say it again. Fellow moms, fellow plant moms, and actual people moms holler at me. <laughs> and tell me if you think the same thing because seriously, I hate repeating myself. And they make me do it all the time, I swear. They're all gonna put me in the nut house, 100%. 100%. I told my husband my only goal raising kids is to not go freaking totally insane because they have a way of pushing you over the literal edge. Over the literal edge. And all these really, they look kind of dangly and yucky. You know? So I'm just going to kind of cut them off. And I don't really know if I want to plant them or not. How about I just plant like one gangly long one? Anyways, what are some of y'all's pet peeves? Uh, where people, <laughs> where people cut the cut their toenails is a big problem for me. Uh, you know, things like that. Uh, I can't really think of anything else. People who are too picky. You know, mama ain't got time for that. People who are too picky drive me nuts. They gotta have things just so, just so. And this is gonna sound like one big crazy session about talking about my kids, but I won't talk about them specifically because that's an invasion of their privacy, but we'll call them child A, B, C, and D, okay? Child A is so picky that we had a different brand of tortillas one night for dinner. And uh, child A, before he would eat said tortillas, had to be torn off a little piece of that tortilla so that he could try it, so that he would be reassured that these tortillas were a free. You know, I don't know. People just, I know they're just little humans that are just working on it. You know, they haven't even figured it all out yet, but oh my word. The pickiness. The pickiness drives me nuts. I suppose if you pick enough of the stems off of them, you can make them all flat short. But I think that's enough. And, and I've got a couple of these types of guys that are making babies all the time, nonstop. And you can see that they get the dead foliage when they get kind of taller. I just kind of deadhead all that. I just pull it straight off and kind of try to keep it looking really cute. But anyways, I think that's all I have to pot up today. It looks really cute. My little baby guy. Doesn't he look cute? But anyhow, yeah, that's some just that's all the stuff I have to plot up today. And uh, we'll get into more nerd talk, you know, either plant nerd talk or regular nerd talk, you know, like Star Wars or Star Trek or um, you know, other things like that. Big into Marvel, you know. I'm just on all kinds of nerd. You know, just all kinds of nerd, nerding out over here, you know. Um, maybe next time, I know I said I'd do a, a plant tour this time, but I did have this potting up to do, and I did get some of this plant stuff, so I thought I'd do this video first. So I figured we'd just do that. And the next video I'm hoping will be the plant tour. I was gonna see if I could get child A to film it for me, but we'll see how that goes, I don't know. Otherwise, it's just gonna be first person plant filming, which we all like about that too. So, and uh, also, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Star Wars storyline for the next Star Wars that's coming out because I am wicked excited and I have some really cool ideas about the Star Wars storyline, some things that might be coming up, 
some things that I hated about the previous things, which, you know, everybody's got their own opinions, but hey. Uh, Y'all come on back next time, and we'll be doing perhaps a plant tour, maybe some repotting, or definitely some chit-chat, because if you haven't noticed, I can't shut a trap. So, anyways, um, Y'all come on back and come hang out with me. Let's nerd out next time. Peace. Later, faders. Bye. Also, real quick, I forgot. I want to tell you real quick. Um, get yourself a moisture meter. It can be your best friend. And you really need one if you're wanting to keep your house plants alive. Uh, you really can learn over time just using your finger or, you know, just picking up your pots and things like that. But I think that takes time. And that takes expertise. And if you're just getting into the plant game, get yourself a moisture meter. I still use it. I'm like over a year into doing plants. I still use it. It's still a valuable tool. I'm still surprised sometimes when I stick my finger in the soil. And I, I would bet you money that that plant was dry. And I stick this in and I'll be damned if it ain't wet all the way around. Down in the bottom, these, this, these plants can be wet where you can't, can't, get, you can't get in there and figure it out. That's what you need one of these for, especially if you have bigger plants, little leaf figs, alocasias, banana trees. Get you a water meter. Quit playing games with these plants. You don't need to come in here and be stressed out. Well, you're not gonna come in here, but you don't need to go in your plant areas and be stressed out. Get you a water meter, take out the guesswork, and have fun. All right, peace out.